lot of our audience doesn't know what happened to you in Gettysburg mm -hmm. when you were 17. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, it was July of 1990. I was on a family vacation, and uh, in just kind of the abbreviated version, we were on our way out of town, my mom and my dad and me, mm -hmm. and the middle of the day, and I look over and I see this group of like 10 or 12 Union soldiers walking down the field about 150 yards away. Uh, I tell my dad to stop because I think they're doing a reenactment. Pulls over, I jump out of the video camera, uh, run, get about you know 75 yards th th behind them, and I film, I pan across, zoom in a little bit as I'm going and go all the way across, like look at the scene, I'm getting ready to go look at a reenactment, blah, blah, blah. As soon as I put the camera down and start to run again, it's gone. They're nowhere to be found. And you know, your first reaction, even today, when, when, when something totally amazing happens, your first reaction is, so how, that was real. So your mind sits there and tries to convince you it was real, that something happened, mm -hmm. that you don't know, and, and it's just going through all these these computations of what's going on, and finally you come to a realization that there's no way this could have happened. And that, that was my moment of, of, of uh, it was my proof of the paranormal, my personal proof of the paranormal. So you, you always hear about these ghost regiments. Actually, before that, I loved history, but I really wasn't you know, so much into the ghosts as far as having an interest in it. But when I saw that, and then I started seeing a lot of documentaries, I started watching a lot about Gettysburg. Right. They were coming off. You know, they, they, they were, a, a lot of people have those types of experiences. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, wow, I just saw it. And Gettysburg is a great place, too, to have. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of stories coming out of there. Right. Um, we have, is your intro video at Getty real or reenacted? No, the, yeah, what's on, what you see on the first episode, they actually show that video. Okay. That's it. That's that the, is the, that's video. the video. Prior to, prior to being on the Discovery Channel, only five people, I, I would say about five people <laughs> ever saw that video because it's so real that it's one of those things you show someone and it's like, if, if I don't know you and I showed this to mm -hmm. you and said, this is, this is what happened, you'd be like, right. yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So that's why I never showed anybody, but obviously that everybody wants to know what got you started. Mm -hmm. And that's what got you started, but what's on, what you see, it, that's that's the video, and actually, right. I'm I'm gonna probably post that to our website. That'd be great. And then, and then sometime in the near future, when yeah. I whenever I get around to actually <laughs> being able to get on my website and do right. something. So. Um, and then we have another audience member ask, "What was your freakiest or scariest investigation?" It was before television. It was an old uh, uh, an old folks' home, an abandoned old folks' home in San Antonio. And uh, it's not there anymore. They actually bulldozed it. But it was like from one day to the next, there was people there. Like, and when we got there, the, the, the police department actually called us out to investigate because of all the activity that was going on there. The police officers wouldn't go in there anymore. So the cops called us out. We went in there, and doors were slamming. Those curtains were being ripped all over the place. Uh, a woman was screaming. A light bulb was tossed at us. And it was just, um, you know, I don't know, nursing homes, even the active ones, or like, the, the, the real ones are a little bit creepy to yeah. begin with, but an abandoned one with half drinking cups of orange juice still on the table, oh, wow. bed sheets like oh, still like someone had just laid there kind of an was like really it was like the night of the comet. You yeah. know how like everyone just disappears all of a sudden. It was just like that. So with that ambiance plus all the activity that happened, that was probably the, mm -hmm. the, the most whacked out place we we've, we've investigated. Wow. Too bad that's gone now. Yeah, it, it, they, they bulldozed it. In fact, the only reason they let us come out to do it mm -hmm. because they knew that was going to get bulldozed. It was more or less their curiosity. Yeah. So. Wow. Um, I know uh, one thing that you have on your team that I've not heard of another team who is who, who actually does this is a canine unit, mm -hmm. and you actually will bring the dogs in, you know, to a location. And, you know, have them kind of, you know, sniff out hot spots, so to speak. Right. And, and so, uh, the dogs, they, they're not ghost finders right. at all. Um, they're not specially trained dogs. They're like our, our, our family pets. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people always talk about the paranormal activity, how animals are more sensitive, kids are more sensitive. And this is a known fact, just, you know, with, with uh, you know, natural science. Um, but the, the dogs are simply for to go in, let them run around in a strange location, and see if they if behavior is different in certain areas. Because we know how our dogs act. Right. And if their behavior changes, we make note of it, and then maybe we'll concentrate a little bit more on the area, see if we can correlate any any kind of evidence. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, of the several, I can probably count, you know, 60, 70 percent of the time, of the time that we.
able to correlate some sort of evidence with some sort of change in activity. I had a chihuahua, my chihuahua one time went nuts uh, in, in this one room, biting and gnashing at people. You couldn't pick him up, and this he's like a really docile dog. Uh, got him away from the room. He was fine. Get him back towards the room. And we found some really cool EVPs, and that was actually where the teenage girl of the house was having a lot of problems. So, oh, wow. Uh, That's was, interesting. So, I mean, how did you come up with the idea to actually have a canine unit? Um, it was, you know, it was a lot of times people's claims is like, my dog was sitting in the room, my dog whimpers and runs. My, my dog whimpers and runs when he's in the corner and, and uh, acts strange. So, uh, you always hear about animals being more sensitive and things like that. So yeah. um, the idea was there is that why not bring in a dog? You know, police use them for exactly. sniffing out drugs, yeah. and so why not bring them in to see if they if, if there is correlation, scientific mm -hmm. correlation between uh, at, at behavior and scientific data. Yeah, well, I know you're getting yeah, by getting, the way. Getting kind of it's at the end of the the night, so I'll just do one more question for the audience and okay. let you get over there and break down your stuff. Uh, do you think Tombstone is haunted, and by whom? Tombstone is a very unique place. Uh, I, you know, by whom? Probably. <laughs> I mean, there's no telling. Right. Uh, you know, obviously, a lot of people go to the Birdcage Theater, mm -hmm. and the Birdcage Theater is is a it's, it's a haunted place. It's very weird. Um, you, but there's other places. There's, you know, you got Crystal Palace Saloon, you got Big Nose Cage, you got Buka Cemetery, you got the courthouse, you have uh, the bed and breakfasts that are in the area. Mm -hmm. You got to understand that when you're talking about traumatic history, like Gettysburg, a lot of trauma, right. Tombstone, you know, if you smiled at someone, if you looked at someone wrong, they shot you. Yeah. And that's the way it was. You go to Boot Hill Cemetery, you can look at all the, all the gravestones, mm -hmm. shot, 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 killed. Drowned, <laughs> shot by Indians, wow. killed by you know old man Clampett. Killed, <laughs> literally, that's what it yeah. says. Hang, 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 hang by mistake was one of them. And so every single grave in this place, they died traumatically. Mm -hmm. So um, that's probably why, and probably haunted by all the people who yeah. had traumatic lo loss of life there. Right. I'm being, I'm being waved yeah, he's at. He's being so. summoned. So well, thank you so much. All right. It was great, you know, let you stopping by. All right. And uh, we'll let Brad run off now.